Hello, Campus Chorus. My name is Dr. Morgan Berberan, and I am the new director here um, for this year uh, for the Campus Chorus, and as well as an assistant professor in music education in the School of Music. And I am delighted and thrilled to join you this year. I've heard nothing but great things about your work and about the experience that this choir tends to have, and I'm so excited to be a part of that with you this year. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, our class week by telling you we are not having class on the first, uh, the first meeting because we have auditions going on with our other campus choirs. This is a non-auditioned choir, so you are off the hook, and so that's awesome. Um, but, but I wanted to make sure that we had a little bit of time to at least see each other's faces. So I sent you a series of questions uh, that I'd love for you to answer via a, vi a video using Flipgrid. And so I'm gonna model for you what the questions are by answering them myself. So um, the first thing is your name. I'm Dr. Morgan Berberan, and you pronounce that Ber -ber 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 -ran. So there you go, now, now you'll have it in your head. My chosen pronoun um, is she or her. And uh, my voice part technically is soprano. Um, however, I tend to sing alto because I like it. I like the rich warmth of the alto color. And also, um, sometimes I sing soprano too, um, if there's a need in that area. But technically, I'm a soprano one. Eh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> no offense, soprano ones. The last time that I formally sang in a choir was just last February. And of course, we didn't know, like any of us did, um, that that would be our last time singing together in a formal setting uh, for the year. But I'm a part of a group called the Festival Singers of Florida, which is made up of semi-professional adult singers, primarily music educators, actually, from, from not just around Florida, but also around the country. And so it's a fabulous group, and I, I've sung with them for many years, and I just adore the experience that we have together. My favorite choir song is a really tough one. Um, I, I'm sure that we all have those pieces that, um, that just stick in our hearts and our memories forever. But I will tell you one that really resonates with me is a piece called I Have Had Singing by Stephen Samets. And it's really clear and it's really transparent and it has these beautiful lush open chords. But most importantly, it has the most profound text, and it's actually written by a Welshman who um, is an older man, the lyrics, and he talks about in his youth that there was so much singing then and, um, and how it filled his soul. And um, I, I think that we can all uh, connect with that concept, and, and um, it's, a, it's a really beautiful piece, and if you don't know it, I suggest you look it up. There's a, there's a treble version, and there's also an SATB version. But that's not the only music that I listen to, choral music. So I want to know from you, what is your favorite song to sing when you just kind of randomly burst into song? And that could change, like for you, like it does for me every time. But uh, recently, my, um, my burst into song piece has been either Ed Sheeran's Perfect, um, which I just, I love the Ed Sheeran and Beyonce duet. I think that that's my favorite version. Um, and also um, pretty much anything from Hamilton, but um, particularly um, History Has Its Eyes on You. That's a great one. Um, I love the role of George Washington and, and, and the heartbeat behind. Uh, I'm really connected to lyrics, and so um, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Lyrics and big lush pieces of music. So the next question is a, is a really um, important one that I'd love to hear from you. And if you feel that this video format is just a little too short um, and, and you'd rather answer in a written form, you're welcome to send me an email at mberberan at ithaca.edu. But I would love to know what you hope for us to accomplish this semester in Campus cho Chorus. You're here for a specific reason. And whether it's your first semester or you're a senior and you've been in this ensemble for the majority of your time here at Ithaca, 
it serves a great and important purpose in your life, um, especially right now. This is a time where we, are, as a nation and globally, are really seeking connection and we are really seeking beauty. With, with the pandemic, with the racial injustices that we have experienced and, and, and seen, and with just the, the cry for help. And so I'd love to know what your reasons are for being here. Some of those reasons that I just said are my reason for being here, my reason for seeking out three degrees and, and making choral music my profession. And I will tell you that my goals for you, um, I have three big ones. The first one is that we create beautiful things together with music so that we, that we work towards our beautiful singing and that we make music every time we meet. My second goal is for us to have a community, a sense of community, a sense of belonging, a safe place that no matter who you are or what your background is, what your experience level is, that you have a place that you know that you can come and you can find your people. That's what I hope this choir will be this year. And then thirdly, I'm, I'm gonna really push us for musical growth, musical and personal growth. We're gonna push the envelope. And yes, this is a virtual setting and it's, it's gonna be a challenge. We all know that. However, we also know that with, if we sing every time and we seek community, that we can grow as musicians is in that process. And so we've chosen some brilliant repertoire for you for this semester. We will have a concert and, um, it's, and we're actually doing a fun, fabulous project where we're partnering with the entire Ithaca College choir community and we're doing a piece um, together in a virtual ensemble. And we'll be starting that next week. So really looking forward to um, accomplishing those goals and also hearing how your goals can partner with mine and that we can create our goals together. And the last question is just feel free to add anything that you would like to say or not. You don't have to do that. Um, but I thought I would just tell you a little bit about me. So I actually was a French horn major when I began my uh, formal music education in college at the University of Florida. And I won't tell you how long ago that was, but it was, it was a while ago. And I actually left UF um, after a few years and um, I, I, was, I got married and I had children. And then I returned back to school as a 25 year old mother of three. So I was a non-traditional student. And um, I went back as a choral music education major. In that time, I finished the degree and began teaching at the age of 29. And, um, and then I worked for three years in a middle school, six years in a high school. I had the brilliant opportunity to open a brand new high school in my community. And that what, what a thrill and an honor that was. And build the traditions and the community. And um, I still miss that school, actually, quite a bit. Uh, in the time there, I also got my master's degree. Uh, from Florida State University. And then I was um, invited to consider getting a PhD from the University of South Florida. And I just finished that this past May. And my research is in vocal health, uh, fatigue within genres, student leadership, and uh, many other things that I'm sure we'll talk about throughout the semester. So that's just a little bit about me. I'm so looking forward to hearing about you and to, to continue this conversation, I'm going to kick it all over to our, my co-conductors, um, our other graduate assistants for this semester. Uh, some of you may already know Ryan Fellman. He, uh, he was here with us last year. He's a second year uh, master's student. And our brand new first year master's student is Juliana Lobiando. And so um, they're gonna share with you their fun facts as well. We can't wait to hear yours. So looking forward to you submitting your videos and really, truly looking forward to establishing community and a sense of musical excellence this semester. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Hi, Campus Chorus.
My name is Ryan Feldman, and I have the pleasure of working with you again this fall. I'm speaking to you from my living room here in Ithaca, and this is my dog Shadow, by the way. Apparently wants to be in the video. Uh, I'm really excited to be able to work with you this fall. We have a lot of great ideas for different ways we can connect and still make music in these odd times. Uh, but we decided to make a little intro video for you. So, again, my name is Ryan Fellman, as in the word fell and the word man combined. A little background on that. It is a Swedish uh, last name, even though uh, I come from a Mexican and Swedish American background. Um, let's see, my voice part, I am a bass too. Um, and the last time I formally sang in a choir was sometime last spring, probably in preparation for Beethoven, which as you probably know, was canceled. Uh, my favorite choral piece I've ever performed is a piece called Our Father by uh, Alexander Grichaninov, who was a Russian composer. My favorite song to sing, um, I have a lot of different tastes from jazz to K-pop to just pop in general, a uh, little bit of country here and there, and so um, a wide range of just favorite songs that, that come on and um, little Mark Anthony, little Britney Spears, you know, it's all over the place. Uh, hope for us to accomplish. I really hope we can, uh, what we can accomplish is that you feel as though you're still finding a way to sing in your home um, or wherever you might be. Uh, I found that even singing, um, you know, on the other side of a screen uh, felt good to me. It released endorphins and and really just helped me find a way to express all these feelings that I desperately needed to get out last fall. Um, I think that we can we can still uh, create a great, really great community, and hopefully, uh, you know, you can talk to your friends about potentially uh, joining us. And if you if you have any questions or think of any ways in which we can further help you. Uh, this semester. That's that's what we're here for. We're here to serve serve you and, and figure out ways in which singing can become relevant in your life and uh, a lifelong pursuit because I've been really fortunate that I've been able to do what I love to do in my life. So we want to be able to find ways to help you make singing a lifelong pursuit. So anyways, thank you so much for listening and I'm looking forward to the first rehearsal with you. Bye. Hi, Campus Choral Ensemble. My name is Juliana Lobiondo. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. Um, and I'm really excited to be working with you this year, as well as Ryan Fellman and Dr. Berberin. Um, a little bit about me, I come from New Jersey. I've been a high school teacher for the past seven years. Um, so I'm really excited to jump back into being a student again. Um, my voice part. In high school and college, I bounced between soprano one and soprano two. And then after I graduated, I realized I didn't want to work that hard. So I jumped down to alto two uh, and worked on my reading skills instead. Uh, the last time I formally sang in a choir was about two years ago. I sang in the Greater South Jersey Chorus with um, Dr. Chris Thomas, who, uh, if you're from New Jersey, you may have heard of him. He works at Rowan University. Um, and so I went down there and worked with them for a while. Uh, but I, like I said, I haven't done it for two years. So I'm really excited to be able to sing again this year and for the next two years. Um, my favorite choral piece that I've ever performed is a piece called Precious Lord. It's an arrangement. Um, and if you would like to hear it and really experience something absolutely stunning, uh, go to YouTube and check out the Aeolians. Um, I just realized that's probably difficult to spell if you've never heard of them, but it's A-E-L-I-O-N-S. I'm going to listen back to that and make sure that's right. Um, so yeah, really wonderful piece. Makes your soul really happy and full. When I randomly burst into the song, um, if I'm being honest, it is Strangers Like Me by Phil Collins from Tarzan. Um, absolutely no reason for it. I'm not obsessed with Tarzan, but that's the always my go-to song. Um, unless I'm in the car, then I'll pump up uh, Love on Top by Beyonce. 
So this year, I really hope, um, as cliche as it sounds, to make some really quality and real connections with other people while making beautiful music. Um, if anything, this past year has taught me how important those two things are. And it's uh, really important in my life. And I look forward to doing it with all of you. So I uh, can't wait to meet you all and see you soon.